Hi Libra, welcome to your general reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal reading, social media, decks I'm using, um, playlist, lots of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Those who have supported the channel and blessed me with an energy exchange to do these free readings for you is very, very greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for those who have tipped or donated. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. And I really do uh, appreciate the support. And uh, those who've reached out for personal readings, thank you. And uh, I think that's about it. Anyway, okay, Libra. So I hope everybody's doing well. As you can see, I have a new layout here. I'm at a new angle, and I hope uh, it works for everybody. I tried to get the best angle I could, so I think you can see the cards okay. And uh, I have a new mat here for my table with my logo on it, so I'm kind of excited about that. So, okay, Libra, I hope everybody's doing well going into fall and let's see what we have for you for your general reading i just just did your uh love reading it's uploading now and this general reading probably won't be uploaded for another because i do i do them ahead but i only upload two readings a day because uh the notifications if you send if you upload bulk upload um, a bunch of videos at once the notifications only send out like two or three and that's it. So I don't think a lot of readers know that when they send out, when they upload 12 videos at once, people complain they're not getting notified. And I notice that readers I follow, I'll get two or three notifications and then I go look in my subscriptions area and then I see all 12 videos that they uploaded. So if you're another reader watching this, I would suggest only uploading two or three videos a day or um, two or three at a time and then wait a few hours maybe or even like in the morning upload two or three and then at night upload two or three because when you do like 12 all at once it only sends out two or three notifications um, so I don't know why it does that but that's what I've noticed so that's why I only upload about two a day then I know the notifications get out and uh, people that want to see their readings will get the notifications because a lot, I don't know if uh, a lot of my viewers if you ever go in your subscription area and look under your subscription videos um, I don't think a lot of people do that so I don't know okay Libra enough of that babbling <laughs> this is your general reading for the second half of September you can fit it into any situation in your life then you're more than welcome to do that but I will read it as a general reading so, let's see what we have for Libra. What kind of energy is around Libra? If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. A little extra bonus. The Zodiac Oracle. What do we have for Libra? Second half of September. Aries. So, I just did your love reading and Leo came out. Now we have another fire sign, Aries, in your general reading. So, uh, you could have Aries around you in some way, shape, or form. A friend, family member, co-worker. Aries does represent um, the emperor in the tarot, which can represent a boss or something like that. So maybe this is your boss. I don't know. <laughs> or uh, maybe you have Aries in your chart somewhere. I don't know. But we'll see. And the Aries also represents the tower. So... I don't know. We'll see. We shall see what's going on with Aries. Aries. Wow. Libra. What's going on with Libra? Spirit, please. Second half of September. General reading. What do we need to know for Libra? What's going on with Libra? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Libra. One card for Libra. What's going on for Libra, please? Thank you. One card for Libra. Libra. Take that one. Oh, 
the base chakra, number one. So that is all about your foundation, your basis, your stability, what makes you grounded. So something going on here with your, uh, your foundation and your basis. So we'll see what's going on with that. Now you have at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups, emotional withdrawal. So something uh, you may be withdrawing from here, and it may be for your own benefit so that you can remain, uh, I'm getting like structured and grounded. Maybe something is no longer serving you and it's really disrupting your foundation and your basis. That could be your home life. That could be your um, emotional status or something like that. But then you have emotional loss under that, which is the Five of Cups. So you got the Eight of Cups, and then you got sadness, sorrow, and emotional loss. So, hmm, Libra. And then you got strength under that. So whatever this is, I feel like you're being strong, courageous, and brave, and you're powering through it here. Whatever, you have two eights here, which do represent... Um, movement, action. So whatever withdrawal, and that could be you just uh, withdrawing from something no longer serving you. Yeah, it may hurt, and you may be sad over it, but I think you are realizing here with your intuition that it's for your benefit, for your own good here, whatever this is. Yep, in the heart chakra under there. So it's really affecting your um, heart chakra in some way. And we have four, again, with the basis, foundation, stability. So something here with your heart chakra and... Uh, I don't know if I put those there, you can't see them. Huh, wow. So... Oh, I don't know what this is, but uh, emotionally withdrawing from something and you're feeling the sadness from that. But you know with your intuition that it's the best thing for you and having the power to do that. It's hard, but you know it's the best thing for some reason. Wow. Okay. I don't know if you can see all those. All right. So let's see what is going on with you. Libra. So we got two ch uh, chakra cards. We got the ba uh, base chakra and we got the heart chakra. Something it could be something in your foundation, your basis, your structure, something in your home life, uh, something that was once really stable here. Um, might have been a shakeup because, like I said, the Aries does represent the tower. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what is going on with Libra. Why are they in this energy? The second half of September, spirit, please. Wow. Thank you so much. What's going on with Libra? All right, this one. Well, we got the two of one. So now you're. Whatever happened here, this is an energy of uh, making plans, decisions, and going in a new direction, being very fiery and passionate. This fire energy, that's the Leo, uh, Sag, and Aries. So, I don't know. Something, uh, you walked away from something here, withdrew and walked away. It was hurtful. You know, you felt the loss of it. But you listened to your intuition. You know, it was the, You knew it was the best thing for you. And you have the power, the strength, the courage to actually do it. You listen to your heart. And it was for your own benefit. So it could have been a job you walked away from. Maybe you were there for a very long time. Maybe you started. Maybe it was your first job. The base chakra there, you know, that's, you know, the foundation where you build up from. So it could have been like your very, very first job. And that's why you have this emotional loss and hurt. Because you have like family there now um that's a lot and you know maybe hard to walk away but you had to i know that may be a message for some so let's get more this and okay i'll take these three 
So, wow, we have the High Priestess again. So that's twice with the High Priestess. And now we have the Ace of Cups. So this is a brand new emotional beginning, fulfillment. So even though you had emotional loss and withdrawal here, you're going on to something here where you will have emotional fulfillment again. And you will love exact wherever, whatever direction, plan you're going in, you're choosing, will be totally aligned with you and you will have self-love, love on your journey, your path. You'll be aligned. So it's best for you here. You're listening to your gut and your intuition. Cancer Pisces here. Knowing and doing what's best for you. Listening to your heart, your gut. Wow. And the fool. So, yep, taking a brand new leap. Brand new start. Resetting, starting at zero. So you're resetting here, restarting at zero. And you're having a new leap of faith. Because you've got the fool, which takes a leap into a brand new beginning. And then here's your brand new beginning full of fulfillment. Wow. And you're very passionate. Passionately making plans, decisions with the two of wands right now. So let's get one more clarifier for this energy. That's two. I only want one. One more. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. The hermit yeah so you had to do a lot of virgo energy here a lot of deep soul searching inner journey work uh, find your way your light your path where do i go from here what do i do what direction do i choose with the two of wands over here but whatever path you're choosing whichever way you're going whichever light you're following will be the best way the best path for you because you have the ace of cups here which is divinely guided so you're being divinely guided onto your path. You will make the right decisions with the two of wands. You're listening because you are listening to your gut and intuition and following the light here of the hermit energy. Wow, so let's see what your actual situation is. So, wow, we got the six of cups. So you could be moving back home. You could be, like I had said, this could have been a job, like your very first job here. And the Six of Cups talks about memories and nostalgia, um, childhood memories, you know, something from a long time ago. And it could be just that you were at this place. It's not a job. It could be anything. Maybe you're moving. Um, and you, you know, maybe you're still living in your childhood neighborhood. I mean, it could be anything. Um, but let's see. So we have the five of swords. So I do feel like here, uh, air energy, that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is a very self-centered, ego-y, ego ego is that a word? <laughs> ego kind of card, you know, uh, very self-centered, getting ahead at all cost. Very selfish card. Um, it's right in the middle of your spread. I don't feel like that's your energy, though. Because I feel like you put your sword up against that energy. So whatever energy you were in, if you were, you know, at the same job since you were very, very young here, but now maybe it's in a bad place, bad energy, and now you're putting up your sword and deciding to leave that energy, or maybe you're returning back to your childhood home, and maybe you're now going to work somewhere at your childhood home. It could go either way. Whatever uh, makes sense for you. So let's get one more. Uh, or you could be moving. Maybe you just don't like the neighborhood that you're in anymore. Um, and you're going to move back home. Where it's safer, I'm getting. It's a place that you love. But now we have the Queen of Coins. So this is Earth Energy. Um... Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is someone very stable, grounded, independent, can make their own coin, very smart, analytic, growth, expansion. So I definitely feel like here now with the queen of pentacles here in your energy, something work. Pentacles are all about monetary work, material, career, uh, education, learning, that sort of thing. So I definitely feel here 
you know your value and your worth now. And that you're worth more than putting up with all this backstabbing ego kind of energy wherever you are here. Now knowing your value, your worth, and like looking away, turning away from that. Like, looking back on it, like, how did I stay there for so long in that crappy energy? And maybe you have children. You could have children also. Because you see, she's looking at her children, so I need to protect my children, do what's best for me and my family. Could be moving back home. to Your childhood home. But you're ready for a new leap of faith here, a new start divinely guided, listening to your gut and your intuition and making the plans necessary, being very fiery, passionate. You've done your inner journey work here and you knew because you have the high priestess and the hermit. So you really did some deep, deep soul searching and you really, really listened to your gut and your intuition and your higher knowing. Wow. All right. So let's get some advice for you, Libra, in this situation. Advice for you, Libra, in this situation. What's the advice for Libra Spirit, please? Can we have a few cards for Libra? A few cards for Libra. One. All right, we'll take these two here first. So, hold on in reverse. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands and the Six of Wands. So the three of wands is about, you know, seeing your ship out in the distance. You know, you, you're making plans now. You know exactly where you want to go, what you want to do. But for some reason, there's a period of waiting for some reason for the right time before you can launch out in this new direction. But you do have success and victory here. So don't lose sight of your path, your way, your light, the direction you know you want to go in here because you will have success and victory all fire energy here and here's with the aries so it could be uh, a message i'm getting too is maybe somebody you knew from childhood you know from childhood um maybe you're gonna go work for them now maybe they are a boss an old friend or something like that and they're like hey you know i have this opportunity here now for you if you want it and here's the success and victory like they see you as somebody well suited for that position. Wow. And it's like they'd be ha so happy to have them, have you on their team. Because you see this guy like raising his hands up in victory like, yay. So, wow. So let's get extra clarity on that. So we have my cards upside down. My cards are upside down. That's why. My cards are upside down. So we have justice. So that's your energy, Libra. So you're doing what's best and right for you. Balancing your scales, truth and clarity with the sword here. You're doing what's best for you and your family. Um, whether you're moving on, physically moving, and then moving on to a new career also, or both, or either, whatever here you're moving on from. I mean, this could be something in the justice department also. But... Um, I'm not really getting that. And I forgot to pull clarifiers for your actual situation. Oh, well. So, yep. Getting your justice, serving it, getting served your justice. So you will have justice in your life here. Scales will be balanced. All right. So let's get one more for clarity here. King of Cups. So, um, what are energy here? So we have a king and a queen. I mean, this could be your significant other, uh, somebody who's very loving, uh, caring and giving, nurturing. Um, this is about love. So, could be a significant other or maybe... Um, Water sign could be somebody you run into that offers you this new uh, position and maybe they own the business or something like that. I'm just looking at the cards here because I placed this right under the hermit. Let 
But I, I just think with the Queen of Coins here and the King of Cups, can be male or female. And with the Hermit there, really, you know, when you, you've done that deep soul search and you're really finding your value, your worth, and your self-love. All right, so let's get... Just get a couple more clarifiers. I've got to pull clarifiers for your actual situation. So let's do that for the actual situation. Because we have the Six of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Queen of Coins. So I had said you realized your self-worth and knew you were better than that negative energy and could be going back to something from the past. Wow, so we have the Three of Cups. And we have the moon energy. So, you know, the moon can represent, you know, secrets, lies, deceit, uh, not things, seeing things clearly, not knowing all the facts. Maybe there were a lot of secrets, like where you were before. A lot of, like, things done behind people's back. Secrets and backstabbing. And that's why you have the five of swords energy here. This does represent Cancer and Pisces. But then you have the Three of Cups. So this is about celebrating reunions, reuniting. So I was going to say that earlier, that maybe you ran into somebody from your childhood and you have now have like this new career opportunity. And here's the Three of Cups confirming that, of possibly running into somebody from your childhood. And you struck up a conversation and uh, they said, hey, you know what? I got an opportunity here. You're tired all, of all this uh, secrets, lies, backstabbing, and crap uh, where you are or where you were. All right, so let's get your possible outcome in this situation. I do see uh, <clears throat> you having your sights on that, going for it, but you have to wait for some reason. Wow. <laughs> so your outcome is the Palace of Cups. Now, this deck has four palace cards. It's the only deck that has palace cards here. One for every suit. There's only four and 78 cards. It's very rare when they come out. And now you have the palace of cups. So you'll be living in a state of happiness and joy and fulfillment and love and compassion here in your home life, your workspace. A palace is a dwelling, a building, a structure. It can be work, home, whatever here. I just feel like you'll be in a more because you had the Ace of Cups come out too. So you will be so fulfilled living in peace, harmony, truth, love, compassion in all forms, work, home. Wow. Family life. So let's get uh, a couple more to clarify. So my card's upside down. I keep putting my cards upside down. So we have... Judgment. Yeah, so you're going to make a final decision here. Judgment call on this. You'll make your, a decision. Decision needed. Devil, yeah. <laughs> decision about do I leave all this toxic, crappy energy behind and move on? So you're going to make a final judgment call here about this toxic situation you're in. And I definitely feel like that you will make the right judgment call and move on in a way from the situation. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now you have the King of Wands. So there's that fire energy, Leo, Aries, and Sag. So like I said, you could run into somebody that uh, old friend or something like that that you knew from childhood who now has their own business or something like that who is an entrepreneur and it may offer you this new opportunity and someone, or it could be your energy also being very, being very fiery, passionate, uh, go-getter, going after what you want. Okay. And then you have the nine of coins. So there's stability, growth, expansion, standing on your own two feet, being very uh, stable and grounded, um, can take care of yourself. So you could be a single mother here, because I did have the queen of coins with the six of cups over here, which had two children on it. So, I mean, and the nine coins here does usually represent a uh, single. So you could be a single mother. Maybe you divorced a water sign. I don't know. That just came to me. So that could be why, why the justice card is here. Um, 
and that's what you're moving on from but i mean it could be anything here death so yeah ending something here ending the toxic energy because we have the devil here too so ending that toxic negative energy scorpio energy there yep conflict fights battles competition uh whatever wherever you were before and there's the sorrow loss and uh emotional hurt again five of cups twice so you know maybe very sad to leave whatever you're leaving because like i had said i feel like you've been there for a very long time because we did have that six of cup energy earlier So, yeah, leaving, ending that toxic energy, being stable, grounded on your own, and uh, feeling very fiery, passionate, moving forward with determination. Or it could be somebody coming in who is, you know, again, a boss or something, entrepreneur that has this new opportunity for you. Because we did have the two of coins, which does represent juggling a lot around. So you could be juggling a lot on, on your plate right now between family, friends, uh, your children, everything going on, uh, transitioning from one situation to another. But then there's your brand new passionate beginning. Could be creative, could be that entrepreneurship energy, a new career kind of energy brand new passionate beginning that is divinely guided so you have the ace of cups and the ace of wands here two uh divinely guided beginnings for you wow all right so let's see what advice what advice do we have for libra what extra advice guidance what else does libra need to know second half of September spirit please thank you so much what else do we have for Libra what else does Libra need to know spirit thank you so much what do we have for Libra health so this could be affecting your health too you know your mental health your physical health whatever situation you're here because you had all that toxic energy the five of swords the devil um we have the five of wands too so it could you know could be really really affecting your health i mean a lot of stress anxiety worry physical mental health that's affected it was affecting your base chakra your basis your foundation of you who you are your home your family everything wow all right see if there's anything else for Libra and you got seven and one eight and eight is about taking action all right love so six so as with the six of cups energy this reminds me of the six of cups so I definitely feel like here you could either returning back home or running into somebody here from your past that offers you something and you're just going to love it. I think you're going to be in a much better space wherever you're going, full of self-love, self-worth, value, peace, harmony in all shape, all ways around you. Wow. So let's see. Is there anything else for Libra? Relationship change. So I had said here that maybe some of you are single now. Could be why Justice was here. So definitely could be relationship change for some of you. Anything else for Libra? Healing. Yep. So I definitely feel like here you have six again. So we have six, six, six. So, yep. I think, you know, if you're moving back home or something like that, I think this situation here, uh, whatever you're choosing to do is going to heal you and you're, doing a lot of healing because you do have that hermit energy so healing from all that toxic negative energy in the bottom of the deck we had leadership so again i had said here 
running into somebody here who may own their own uh, business or be an entrepreneur. Or maybe now you will be your own entrepreneur. Maybe you will run your own business as with the Aries. Leadership in some way here. Nine, you know, wish fulfillment. One in eight, 81 is nine. And manifestation, manifesting this brand new beginning. Because after the fool, you get one, which is the um, magician, which is the manifester. So manifestation. So manifesting this in eight here, taking that action. Oh, I don't know where this card came up, but I just had synchronicity stuck under leadership. So I don't know. It would be all synchronized steps that are divinely guided that are leading you in the right direction here. Okay, Libra, uh, that was your general reading for the second half of September. If this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past playlists. There may be something there that may resonate for you more. If you find a title, I would say watch it. I do consider them all timeless, so disregard the dates. And if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, I really love to read the comments, and all the shares would really help the channel and help to circulate the video, so thank you so much for that. And um, hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so that's four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. So good luck to you here in your situation, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.